I don't know. We're just playing like a lot of Sporkle today. I, I don't even know. I, I really just clicked on this quiz just to be like, let's give it a try. Okay. This, this is mostly just for a test. Can you find the bordering countries of Germany? There's nine of them. Okay, for sure. Find Belgium. Okay, Belgium is like... Okay, Poland is here. Switzerland is like right there. Denmark is right there. Oh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me, uh, ripoff, ripoff. Luxembourg is south of Belgium. Czechia is right here. Austria is right here. France, it's right here. Netherlands, right here. Hey, hey. Sixty-seven. I'm a. I'm. Look, we should have had Denmark, but this for some reason it's looking like Dan Crenshaw's congressional district. What the heck is going on with this? I, Switzerland, I'm a little embarrassed by, but like, so be. What, what happens if you just hit next quiz, man? What if you just did, oh no, it's all going to be geography. Can you click on the countries that border Greece? Absolutely not. Albania. North Macedonia. Bulgaria. Turkey. Um, there's a problem. It's, it's up here. <laughs> what? I gotta be just about the only person on the planet that got Albania, North Macedonia, and Bulgaria, but did not get Turkey. I, in my head, I thought Greece was south of Turkey. Obviously, it's not. I can see that now. I was thinking of, of EU4, and I was like, dude, Turkey's like up here. Now that I think about it, it doesn't make any damn sense. Delete the VOD, delete the VOD. Can you click on the hidden countries that border Hungary? Croatia. I mean, like, dude, I don't even know, like, where we are. Okay, Austria. Slovakia. <coughs> Hold on. This is, like, Slovenia. Slovakia is right here. Romania. Slovenia, Serbia, Ukraine. Oh, that's honestly kind of impressive. What did we get on that one? That was six out of seven. Dude, these quizzes are cracked. Run me back. Countries that border Italy. Vatican City. <laughs> San Marino. Slovenia. It's like right here. You peace. France. Switzerland. Austria, you peace. Come on, man. We were so close. You think I don't know where Slovenia is? Ask me anything about Ljubljana. Can you name the hidden countries that border Kosovo? Yep, pretty much. Can you find the countries that border Latvia? Lithuania is south of Latvia. Russia is east. Estonia is north. Belarus is southeast. I'm actually insane. I'm cracked at gaming. Can you find the countries that border Lithuania? Honestly, like, probably, considering we literally just did this. What? Oh, dude, that's an oblast. That doesn't count. That's an oblast. That's an enclave, an administrative enclave. It counts. Count this. How dare you? Can you find the countries that border Luxembourg? I'm going to be honest with you. This, okay, I'm, what? This, okay, we're going to, this, this sucks. Let's find some new quizzes. <laughs> Popular. All categories. 
Who am I? Famous people 26. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do this. Hold on, I gotta make sure I'm on the right screen region here. I know some of these people. I can tell you as we speak, I know some of the people that I'm seeing here. Some of them I do not know. So before we get started, this is Isaac Newton. I'd recognize this freak show anywhere. This is Marlon Brando. This guy played the police chief in Hot Fuzz. I think his name is Jim Broadbent. Is it, One of these scumbags is Milton Berle. I don't know which one it is, but one of you... I think that's Ed Asner. I think this is Ed Asner. God rest him. I think that's Milton Berle. This is Steve Jobs. You're a player of basketball. You're, you're probably Augustus, Pope Jean-Paul II, Janice Joplin... I'm going to be honest with you. You look like everybody that sits in front of me at the Vancouver Canucks games and misses half of the game to just get beer uh, at the concession stand. And then by the time you return from the concession stand, the beer is 80% empty. You, look, you literally look like the guys who sit in front of me and just talk about like the construction industry throughout the whole game and then get mad when they call like an icing that wasn't supposed to be an icing. This is Tina Fey. This is time-traveling Luke Perry for sure. I think this might be... It's either Jens Lechman or the Archduke Franz Ferdinand. And this is honestly like a flower mascot. This is like a mascot for baking powder or something. That's not a real person. Um, okay, let's, let's try. Play quiz. I am best known for my role as a co-founder of Apple. That would be Steve Apple. Tina Fey was on 30 Rock. I created the largest empire until the Romans through my military genius. Okay, which one of you scumbags is Alexander the Great? I was a bank and train robber in the American Old West. It's got to be this guy. Everybody else here is like an actor. Yeah, that's Jesse James. It's actually one of the Sedin brothers. I wrote... This land is your land. Okay, so somebody here is um, Woody Guthrie. It's probably you. Oh, no. I was a singing cowboy. Okay, so that's probably you. <laughs> I hosted the longest-running variety show, Ed Sullivan. I probably frightened you when I screamed in the shower. Okay, this is Vivian Lee, who I'm pretty sure is you. Janet Lee, whatever. I'm remembered for my successful efforts to end communism. And building bridges with other faiths. Pope John Paul II ended communism? Then why are we still tweeting about it? Middle finger. <laughs> unbased. Unbased. <laughs> I was an Egyptian president who negotiated peace talks with Israel. There's no way it's not you. I am one of the world's best-selling authors of sci spy fiction. Okay, that means one of you is, you're like Ian Fleming, Tom Clancy, <laughs> that's Tom Clancy. I am known for my spelling book and the dictionary of the English language. It's got to be you, man. That's Noah Webster. That's actually Jim Broadbent. I was a godfather. That's Marlon Brando. I was a lovable boss, Ed Asner. I'm regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time, Will Chamberlain. I was an Enlightenment writer who attacked the Catholic Church and advocated for religious freedom. Who am I? Mrs. Doubtfire. It's got to be you. Vol that's Voltaire. It's Isaac Newton, man. They must go to the same wig shop. I was a manicurist who became famous for making the outrage demand for where's the beef. Where's the beef? That's you. I broke new ground. Janis Joplin. Look at that. We got, we got, that's Woody Guthrie. That's actually Luke Perry. Is it possible? Am I starting a new conspiracy theory that uh, Woody Guthrie is Luke Perry's grandfather? That's Luke Perry, man. No, not Tyler Perry. Come on. I don't like this, the smile. Something about the smile. 
You know what that smile says? You should know. Your wife kissed me on the cheek when I came in. Now look at you. Can you click on the famous game show host when given the game they hosted? This is Bert Camfer. He hosted Card Sharks. This is Bob Eubanks. He hosted the newlywed game. I'm going to be honest. I don't know who you are. And no, I do know who you are. I think you're Dick Clark. I've seen you beho before. That's Monty Hall. This guy hosted uh, Password. This is Betty White's ex-husband. No joke. He well, he. I think it's only her ex-husband because he's been dead for like twenty years. He hosted a lot of shows, including blockbusters. Regis Philbin, of course, hosted um, "Who Wants to Be a Millionaire." Annie something hosted "The Weakest Link." I just you gotta shave that man. Come on, please. It's so horrible. <laughs> I just absolutely hate this. I don't know. This guy is a freak show. Okay, that's Jane Lynch. She hosts one of those awful celebrity shows that's like, uh, do an impression of a lobster. I don't know. This guy, I think that might be Robert Wagner. I don't know. Um, I know this guy. He hosted the match game. I don't know you. I think you're Michael McKean's dad. I know you, but I don't know. I think this is Richard Dawson from The Family Feud. This, this Chuck Woolery-looking motherfucker is Chuck Woolery. He hosted a game show called Greed. I know you as well. I, this is my sleep paralysis demon. And you are Chuck Berry who hosted the gong show. Let's get going. I originally hosted the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. I was the original host of Let's Make a Deal. I was the original host of Deal or No Deal. I was the original host of Password. I pass for now. I was the original host of The Weakest Link. I was the original host of Tattle Tales. I know this. I've seen this show. It might be you. I'm waiting for Card Sharks. Hollywood Game Night. Gong Show. You Bet Your Life. I pass. Hollywood Squares. Really? Really? Pr probably this psycho. Original host of Jeopardy. Now this is one I feel like I should know. It's probably you. You look like a Jeopardy guy. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Match Game. Family Feud. $10,000 Pyramid. This guy hosted the $10,000 Pyramid. Tic Tac Doe, Wheel of Fortune. Please, The Price is Right. Come on, man. You think Groucho Marx originally hosted The Price is Right? <laughs> Bill Collin, no! Password, Alan Ludden. Tattle Tales. There's no card shark, which means Bert Convy. Yeah, you bet your life. Okay, just hold on. Hollywood Squares. Peter Marshall? Jeopardy. Jeopardy. One of these guys hosted Jeopardy. Art Fleming. Tic Tac Doe, Wheel of Fortune. You bet your life has got to be Groucho Marx. Tic Tac Doe, Wheel of Fortune. Chuck Woolery, Wheel of Fortune. Wink Martindale, Tic Tac Doe. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's pretty impressive. I watched a lot of Game Show Network as a kid. Can you name the biblical feature based on the clue provided? I'm just going to be straight up with you. Absolutely not. Um, and I'm also worried that many of them will be naked. Which is normally not a problem, but on Twitch, I don't like to toe the line. So let me, let me just make sure there's no nakedness. There's no nakedness. I know something about the Bible now. I've been listening to podcasts about ancient history. So, like, I know some of these people, like Jesus. Um, I was thrown out of a window and trampled to death by horses. No, no clue. I was sold into slavery by my brothers. I used a sling to stop a giant. That's David. I was a seller of purple goods. I asked God for wisdom. I was the disciple who betrayed uh, Jesus. Wow, how, dude, honestly, this quiz does not pass the Bechdel test. Lot's wife? Uh, she has a name. I was the first human ever born. We got a 50-50 shot on this one. <laughs> I turned water into wine. That's Jesus. I lived in a big fish for three days. That's Jonah. God called me princess. Who am I? 
I was turned into a pillar of salt. That's Lot's wife. I parted the Red Sea. That's Moses. I talked to a snake. That's Adam. <laughs> You're telling me Eve was not the first human? Didn't she talk to the snake? How could she talk to the snake and be the first human? I doubted the resurrection of Jesus without physical proof. Oh, she wasn't born. She came down in a rib, Doug. I named all the animals. Is that Noah? It seems like he might as well. Look at how heavy. Dude, that's Oscar Isaac. It seems like that he sh Noah should have named all the animals. He had them all in one place. That would have saved everybody a lot of work. Sarah is actually Miranda Sings. What is going on? I killed 1,000 Philistines with a donkey's jawbone. That's Samson. <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. I got out of a boat and walked on water. Bro, come on. I have no clue. I am the mother of Jesus. Okay, I can get that one. I tricked Samson. That's Delilah. I was unable to speak until my son was born. I built a huge boat. Okay, I can do that one. I was thrown out of a window and trampled to death by horses. That's got to be Cain. I was sold into slavery by my brothers. That's Thomas. I was a seller of purple goods. I'm going to be straight up with you. This guy looks like he's selling some purple goods. Okay. I asked God for wisdom. Joseph. God called me princess. Sarah. Oh! Um, um, first, second wife of Abraham. First wife of Abraham. I doubted the resurrection of Jesus without physical proof. Honestly, let's be honest. This guy looks like a doubter. <laughs> I got out of... Oh. 11 of 21. I do not do well in the uh, Bible categories on Jeopardy. Doubting Thomas. Okay, doubting Thomas, that makes sense. Let's see. I named all the animals. Adam. He named all the animals. You, this, this guy lived in the Garden of Eden. He, he named a polar bear. He went, that's a polar bear? How? How did he name them? Was he given like a tablet or something? What happened? Even all, the, the, he named like this giant squid that lives 10 kilometers below the surface of the ocean. I was the first human ever born. Cain? Wrong. How could you be the first human ever born when Adam and Eve existed before you? I use, okay, this is easy. I don't know why Delilah actually existed in 1930 for some reason. Like, she's actually wearing lipstick and she has a perm. I talked to a snake. Yeah, this Eve. You ever notice this portrait of Eve looks a little bit like Greta Thunberg? Like, I, it, it, it's, it's like one-to-one. -one. Both girl bosses... Who tried to shake up the way we live our lives, by the way. Okay. Jesus Christ. I got that one. I was thrown out of a window and trampled to death by horses. Who am I? Jezebel. Did not know. I lived in a big fish for three days. I love this picture of Jonah, man. He looks like Chuck Norris. I guess it's not a photo. I was sold into slavery by my brothers. Joseph? Really? Really? Trust no one, not even yourself. Okay, Judas? Dude, I, you know what? I'd take it back. Noah is not Oscar Isaac. Noah is actually uh, Jason Manzukis. This is Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac at the start of Annihilation. Oscar Isaac at the end of Annihilation. That scared the crap out of me. Lot's wife is actually a Magic the Gathering card. Lydia, I was a seller of purple goods. Is that why she's wearing so much purple? I thought they said, don't get high on your own supply. <laughs> I am the mother of Jesus, Mary. Moses? Moses is looking extremely epic, man. What's the main character of, um, of uh, A Midsummer's Night's Dream? This guy is looking like that guy right now. 
please help me out. Oberon. This guy is looking like Oberon. For real. For real. Okay, Noah's just chilling. Honestly, like they say, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Considering the climate crisis this guy went through, like, he's got a big smile on his face. What, why do you think he's smiling? Do you think he just got, like, the, the second seahorse on board? He's like, I've been looking for that thing for, like, ten years. <laughs> Shit is impossible. This dude just got the the second like single celled amoeba. He ran the genetic test on it and was like, finally a match. And was the, okay, Peter, honestly, like don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you look like Ian Holm in Ridley Scott's Alien. Samson, I killed one thousand Philistines with a donkey's jawbone. It's so funny to me that this picture of Samson versus his wife, Delilah, or his love interest, like they, this is kind of crazy, right? App developer BF, Instagram Finsta superstar GF. I wasn't going to say it. It does kind of look like Hassan when he does his basketball streams. Like the hair and the beard are pretty close. Now, Sarah is just like a lady. I know you. You're Abraham's uh, first wife. Solomon asked God for wisdom. Could you be more specific, please? Thomas is literally just a guy from Sweden. And I don't know, Zachariah, I don't know why this is like, it looks like Jermaine Clement on like an indie movie poster. Like I, I'm, it, that's the vibe I'm getting. This dude was actually unable to speak until his son was born. He must have been like an absolutely incredible user of body language. Twitch emote looking Zachariah. <laughs> You have died of dysentery. Rude. Can you click on the famous mascot based on the clue provided? What the heck? I, it's so sad that I know, like, all of these. I don't know you, I'll admit, okay? Energizer Bunny, Smokey the Bear, Geico, Gecko, I don't know, Maytag Man. Tim the Tool Man, Tony the Tiger. This, get out of my face, Ronald McDonald. Keebler Elf, Tootsie Roll Psycho, Mr. Clean, Baby Nut, I think you're like the Charmin Teddy Bear, Green Giant, Michelin Man, Chester Cheetah, Aunt Jemima, I don't know, but we can do process of elimination, and then you're like a Whiskus or a, maybe a Meow Mix Cat. I can make any stack sweet. Some people think I'm a genie. Mr. Clean. Hey, I want to knock you out. What? I just keep going. I'm the loneliest guy in town. I run a business inside of a hollow tree. I am a shell of a man. I can be scary, but my nuggets will make you smile. <laughs> Pump me up. Michelin man. My job is saving people money. I'm a beatnik with good taste. I feel like that's the Tootsie Roll. I have a reputation for hanging out in PSAs. I get to the center quickly. Oh, that's this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't easy being cheesy. I'm great. I like to cuddle. I live in a valley. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus. I am very finicky. It's probably this cat. Hey, I want to knock you out. I'm the loneliest guy in town. Charlie the Tuna? What the heck? Punchy from Hawaiian Punch. Dude, I'm actually... That's sad. I'm, I've never wanted to, like, do worse on a quiz. Can you name these historical leaders from their photos? Okay. As a child, by the way. That's worth adding. This is actually Donald Trump's baby photo. I promise you this. This is Hillary Clinton. This is Vladimir Putin, for sure.
This is actually a young Cobalt Streak. This is Cobalt Streak after violin practice. Greta Thunberg? Okay, let's give it a try. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think this might be Bruno Mars. He has not run for president yet, but he's got that kind of, he's got a Bruno Mars disposition. And look at that smile, man. Play quiz. Oh, no. Hillary Clinton. Trump. Putin. I'm screwed, man. Okay, like, it's gotta be. Um, this is a British prime minister. That is probably the most British child I've ever seen in my entire life. These are not all world leaders, right? <laughs> it's okay. Look at the chat. People were like, this is definitely Hitler. He has a kind of a British look to him, right? Something with the eyebrows. Okay. Now, these, these are not p political leaders. What are they? Let's see. World leaders and political figures, world leaders. Because this is Martin Luther King Jr. I kind of feel like this is JFK Jr. Nope. Is John Mulaney then? That's a present photo of John Mulaney. Um, this is George W. Bush, which is actually the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's so funny. That that's what George W. Bush looked like as a child and as an adult. What? Oh, okay. The W doesn't count. All right, all right. Hold on, I can do this. I can do this. I still think that's Greta Thunberg. <laughs> oh, son of a... Everywhere I go, I see her face. This is noted 1920s actress Clara Bow. This is Liza Minnelli. Like, I feel like this one should be... Like, look at that hair, man. That's not a hat, right? That's hair? Look at this. I feel like I'm not that well-versed in politics in this part of the world. One that I would choose would be Gandhi. Okay. Look at that hair, man! He went bald? From that to bald? That's a tragic story, man. He got robbed. That's headwear? Bro, I don't know. Look at the waves. <laughs> I, I honestly don't see how I can't get this. That's such a, like, a striking face. I can't look. I'm not glancing at chat. This also to me is like, I think I know you. You are not Harry Truman. You're the guy I always get confused with Harry Truman. Your name is Woodrow Wilson. That's so stupid. Why would the, Woodrow Wilson was a president in 1914. When was this photo taken? Like 1760 in that case? This photo is probably from the 1950s, 1940s, maybe. Like, how could you're? I know you. You're Lyndon B. Johnson. I looked dead in your soul. I looked in his soul and I saw Lyndon B. Johnson. That's called a spirit read. Who are you? You might not be American. This was definitely American. 
This, I don't know. You on, you're Hank's wife from Breaking Bad. This shit is just looking me deep into the window of my soul. <laughs> Straight out of me crazy. That's Ryan Gosling. You are Ryan Gosling. Who are you? It's Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling is my age, though, so this presents a bit of an anachronistic photograph. John Mulaney. I think you're Nikita Khrushchev. I think you are... I'm hold on. I'm doing a spirit read. It seemed to this strikes me as a European photo. I'm spirit reading you. I'm reading your spirit. You grow up to be Gorbachev. You grow up to be Brezhnev. You are probably Lenin. You are. I'm reading your spirit. I'm reading your spirit. This shit is driving me crazy, man. This is George W. Bush photos driving me crazy. Young Cobalt Streak. This one is gonna actually stick in my craw a little bit. Is it possible that you are Theresa May? I kind of get a Theresa May vibe from you. It's you gotta age them in your head like fifty years, right? This is actually this is still Cobalt Streak in my mind. This Lyndon B. Johnson actually grew up to look the same. It's like if, for a man. The way you look when you're like age 70 is exactly the same as you look at age 7, but usually you just have like a belly as well. I give up, man. I honestly, I'm ready. Okay, Joe Biden, also known as John Mulaney. Dwight Eisenhower. Honestly, I can kind of see it. I did say it was a European photo, but honestly, it's just because he looks really serious. I think that's mostly it, is the fact that he looks so like there's nothing to be happy about at all. Margaret Thatcher. I was going to make so many like horse girl jokes. Like, I, I, I know that like there's somebody here that is actually wearing riding gear, but like... You just from one look at this photo, you're like, this is someone who loves horses. Queen Elizabeth II. Okay, that makes sense. Do you know, I was looking it up the other day. Did you know Queen Elizabeth II has literally been on Canada's money um, since forever? Like, there has not been a, an issuance of Canadian currency that has not featured Queen Elizabeth. She's roughly the same age as my country. There's actually some Canadian notes where the queen is kind of a baddie. If you go look at some of the bills from like the, the 1950s, 1960s Canadian mint, she's kind of a baddie, honestly. But I know I'm getting old because like I looked up some of the bills that... Uh, you know, were from when I was a kid, and I thought she looked like she was, you know, 100 years old back then. When I go back and look at them, I'm like, she was kind of a baddie back then, too. Anyway, um, Nancy Reagan, Jackie Kennedy, F, that's Franklin Delano Roosevelt, also known as Ryan Gosling, Richard Nixon, and Angela Merkel. 
Do you think it's possible that... Do, does anyone want to let Cobalt Streak know that in 30 years he's going to look like Richard Nixon? He, he looks a lot like the young photos of, uh, of Joseph Stalin. <laughs> No, I've seen that Stalin Young is like this face plus Gandhi's hair or headwear, whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's luscious, by the way. Like, I still am not sold. That looks like hair to me. I think it's hair. You know why? Because the reason I think this is hair is because um, David Miyazaki, my, my manager and publicist, his hair is like this, genuinely. It's, it's like this thick, like it almost looks like it's like, uh, like vinyl or something. Like if, if he was, if he fell off of a building, you could hold him up with his hair. So I'm thinking like this could be his real hair. But maybe not. 50%. Wow, that's sad. Can you identify the famous person from childhood photos in 15 seconds or less? Okay, you just gotta... Sometimes... I just like to test, okay? Okay, this is why I wanted to test. I don't want people to be weird about it, but like, it's a photo of a former president like naked as a baby. So I'm just going to hit give up on that one. <laughs> and I'm going to going to hit next quiz. Can you identify the famous person from their childhood photo? I'm probably going to Okay, that's that's just 25 photos of uh Vladimir Putin flexing for the camera. I'm going to give up on that one and we'll move on to the next one. Can you identify the famous person from their childhood photo? I mean, this is not even fair because now I'm like, I've seen all these childhood photos. I know these now. Next quiz. Famous person for their childhood photos. Yeah, I know that's Oprah Winfrey, okay? Score one of two? It's a quiz of two? Please, no more, no more, no more from their childhood photo. I'm begging you. Next category. I mean, I'm just hoping that if I keep hitting yes, it'll it'll put me there. Next quiz from their famous childhood photo. I know all these. This is what bothers me. I got young Bill Clinton staring me in the face. Man's 14 years old, he's got a saxophone draped around his neck. You think I don't know that that's Bill Clinton? Like, come on, but just give me some... Zero of two, what is wrong with you, man? Play quiz. You think you can sneak one by me? That's Babe Ruth. I don't know who this is, actually. I know you can't see, just give, you, just give it a second. Maybe it's not Babe Ruth. Apparently, that's actually Elvis Presley. Okay, well, you know what? I gave you 20 chances. Now the, the problem is my problem now. It's not your problem. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I, I do not wish to find the countries of Europe for the three millionth time. That's fine. Find the counties of England. Literally not possible. Find the missing food and drink in songs. Can you click on the correct food or drink that completes each song title? Red, Red, Blank by Neil Diamond. Wine. Smoke on the Water. Pork and Beans. Lady Blank by Patti LaBelle. Marmalade. On the Bayou. Orange, Strawberries on the Bayou, The Banana Boat Song by Harry Belafonte, Champagne Supernova, Candy Shop by 50 Cent, Blank Tree by Fool's Garden, I do not know, Coffee and TV by Blur, 
Blank and Cream by Snoop Dogg. It's got to be strawberry. Oh, never mind. Strawberry feels forever. Pour Some Sugar on Me by Def Leppard. Cheeseburger in Paradise. American Pie. Blank Hill. Blueberry Hill. No Blank Today by Herman's Hermits. Um, Chipino? No Chipino Today? Orange Crush by R.E.M. Whiskey in the Jar by Thin Lizzy. Cherry Bomb by The Runaways. We got Lemon on the Bayou. Lemon Tree by Fool's Garden. Lemons and Cream. Milk and Cream. S stew and Cream. No Soup Today. Okay. Milk and Cream. Peaches and cream? That makes 10 times more sense. Lemon on... Lemon tree. No soup... No milk today? Jambalaya on the bayou? All right, that was hard, man. Next quiz. Can you click the correct food or drink that completes each TV show? Mr. Uh, Bean. Mr. Baked Potato. Excuse me. I would like to um, redo the quiz. Because I have been ripped off. Yes, this is a bean. But these are also beans. All I ask is you to design the quiz appropriately. Blank Love Story. Comedians in Cars Getting Beans. Chip and Dale. Bob's Borgiers. The Real Housewives of Orange County. The Real Housewives of Pizza County? Orange. There it is. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I. Carly. Blank Boss. Undercover. Pizza. Cake Boss. Cake Boss. Mr. Bean. The Mr. Potato Head Show. Here comes Honey Boo Boo. What a show. Two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. Is this Manhattan love story? Ooh. Eye candy. He's good. He's good. He's, he's back. He's cracked. Next quiz. The correct vehicle that complete. Okay, honestly, like... I don't... I, it's too easy. I don't, I, don't, I don't like these multiple choices. Okay? Someone said multi-category foursome. Famous foursomes, United States foursomes, foursomes from every category. Can you choose the members of these foursomes from every Sporkle category? Can you name the answers to every category quickly, going from least guest answer in Sporkle's foursomes quiz? What the? Okay, this is like a social game, man. Going from least... To most. Okay. The least guest season of the year would be fall. The least guest playing card suit, clubs. The least guest cardinal direction is west. Uh, New Testament, I have no clue. Uh... The least remembered mathematical operation, divide. Ding. Division. Subtraction? Multiplication? I don't buy it. Okay. New Testament Gospels, no clue. Classical elements, I don't even understand. Faces on Mount Rushmore. Most people are going to forget Roosevelt. Most people are going to forget Jefferson. States of matter, plasma. Basic food groups. People will forget dairy. The Beatles, Ringo. George Harrison? Wow. More people know Ringo than Paul McCartney. Sections of an orchestra. People will forget percussion. People will forget... Woodwinds. Four Corners States. New Mexico. Nevada. Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, son of a, how fitting, how fitting, how fitting, I don't know, Nebraska, 
Nebraska? That doesn't make any sense. It starts with an I. Is it Iowa? Whatever. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael, easy. Fundamental Forces, don't remember. Sex in the City Gals, Charlotte. Marx Brothers, Carl. Fantastic Four, most people will forget Miss Fantastic. <laughs> Probably not, huh? Uh, the Thing. Mr. Fantastic? More people got The Thing than Mr. Fan... The Human Torch is the least known? Horseman of the Apocalypse? Pestilence. No, people will remember that. People will forget um, War. The Monkeys? Davy Jones. Yeah, he's the only one I know. Tarot card suits? Swords. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Cups. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. New ta classical elements. What does that mean? Earth? <laughs> New Testament Gospels. Um, Genesis. Uh, <laughs> um, Exodus. Um, the Marx Brothers. Groucho? You might as well give me one. Tarot card suits. The monkeys. Fundamental forces. Pull. Friction. Uh, dude, honestly, I thought I did a pretty good job, all things considered. I mean, we were cracked for, like, part of that. This is a great, uh, Pentacles? This is a, this is a great genre for puzzle. Because I know, uh, people, and I know things. I, like, like Tyrion Lannister said, Tyrion Lannister said, I know people and I know things. Can you name the famous foursomes? Literally, we just uh, did this. Like, I'm not going to do it again. That's just crazy. Are there any stories in the same vein? Any, any quizzes in the same vein, I mean? Can you name the, nem the members of these famous foursomes? I mean, this is not that bad. We can, we can try this, okay? Wizard of Oz. Tin Man, Scarecrow, Lion, Dorothy, Ghostbusters, Egon, Peter Venkman, Dan Aykroyd, Pac-Man Ghost, Blinky, Stinky, Pinky, Boo, Original Kings of Comedy, Steve Harvey, Cedric. Bernie Mac. The A-Team. I have no idea. Gauntlet characters. Wizard. Amazon. Rogue. You know what I mean. Archer. Questor the Elf, that's what I meant. Barbarian, oh, I'm so good. Warrior. There was some kind of, some kind of like green sicko. Baldwin Brothers, Alec, Billy. <laughs> Typical male voice types. Baritone. Bass. Tenor. Soprano. <laughs> it's alto. Houses of Hogwarts. I'm so good. Griff Findor. Slipwart. S Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Dumble. Hufflepuff. Color process printing inks. Cyan. Maroon. Uh, cyan. The C. C. Y. <laughs> C. M. M Move uh, tennis grand slam events. Os Open. Uh, oh, you're gonna make me use the formal name. Australian, French, Wimbledon, U.S. Open. Assassinated U.S. presidents: McKinley, Lincoln, Kennedy. I really should know this. Bronte siblings. Emily, Charlotte, 
main ingredients of beer Har harley <laughs> barley hops malt excuse me water is a big one yeast okay twilight series novels thank you steam whistle for that for that free answer um twilight new moon dawn breaking dawn breaking dawn part two D rise of jacob little women title characters mary greta not not greta thunberg greta gerwig Winona Ryder, alliterative U.S. state capitals. I don't even understand. San, alliterative. New York City, <laughs> that's not even the capital. Alliterative. The same letter as the state, maybe? This shit is actually not possible. Port, starboard, stern, bow. Led Zeppelin members. Robert Plants, Jimmy, Page, and then the guy on the drums. John Bonham. What? Joe, let's go. John Bonham, the bass player. The guy who plays bass. Conic sections of curves. Quaternion. Ellipsis. Um, arc. <laughs> Tangent. Uh, 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 um, um, base. Right. Uh, uh, yellow is a printing ink. What the heck could... Is K, right? It's like C-M-Y-K. K. K. Uh, K. 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 <laughs> I should know more Baldwins. And more Pac Man ghosts. One of them is Inky, right? And then the other one is named like Dot or something. It's like Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Mo. I give up. D.L. Hewley! Clyde, that's right. Dude, I should have gotten all the Baldwins for one. I never would have gotten Counter Tenor, but sadly, the one that bothers me the most is I definitely should have gotten D.L. Hewley. Hooray, <laughs> Hooley. James Garfield was assassinated. Eclipse. Dover, Delaware, Honolulu, Hawaii. You peace. John Paul Jones. Wasn't that guy the Pope? These are great quizzes, actually. Okay. Original Monopoly Railroads. Reading. 